welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video i'm doing a yellow q and a and i really enjoyed the last one that's why i'm doing this one so yeah let's get into the video first question are you mad at the girl kayla for messing up you and james bond give him another chance he loves you okay if you don't know who james is when i did my last q and a i was referring to him as my boyfriend because we weren't like out in the open yet but he, he my ex now but yeah that's who james is Okay, first off, I'm not mad at Kayla at all. I am glad she told me. Because if she would have told me that, I was going to be out here looking stupid. And who wants to look stupid? Mm -mm. And the part about giving him another chance, he loves you. That would never happen. Okay. <laughs> you should do a clothing try on haul for one of your videos. I'm definitely going to do that. Because I got a bunch of clothes. Like, I ordered a bunch of stuff. But I can't go nowhere. Because it's coronavirus, so... Can I cuff you? Uh, I don't know who this is. Plus, I'm sorry for smacking y'all. Okay, I was reading a message. But I don't know who this is. And plus, it's going to be summertime. I'm not trying to be tied down. I just got out of a long, super long relationship. Not James, but with Jordan. That was a year. And I was loyal the whole time. And it's like, now, I'm just going to do me. I'm not going to just be in a relationship. I thought that's what I wanted to do. That's why I got with James. But he showed me that ain't what, this ain't what you want, shot. You know. So, yeah. Um, see, you're older than me, and I, you're older than me and all, and I talked to someone, but if I didn't on my life, I would ask you on a date, pick you up, and all, but it's much love this way for you. Thank you, but if you talk to somebody, you shouldn't be saying that to people's yellows. Thank you, though. Why you and do it pop out and then break up? Because, like, mm -mm. I don't know what this thing doing. Okay. Why you and dude pop out and then break up? Because a girl had sent me some messages and he was trying to link with her and stuff. And now I don't do all the cheating stuff. Mm -mm, baby. Cheat one time. That's it. That's it, fam. You was really happy as if. Okay, the same person sent that. They sent it back to back. You was really happy as if. I really was. Because he was a very sweet guy. And he was always complimenting me and stuff. I'm like, you're a cool dude. Don't get me wrong. But relationship-wise, we're just not going to work. Because you're a cheater. Since you're single, are you accepting past boyfriends slash exes? No, I'm not. The only ex I would take back would probably be Perion. That's my first love. Or either Carter. We didn't really end on bad terms. Well, we kind of did. It's my fault. But we didn't really end like on no crazy stuff. So. That's probably it. Yeah, that's it. What happened between you and the new boy? I thought y'all were good. You were feeling him. I was feeling him. We were good. But he messed up. So, why did you and old dude break up? He cheated. Where did you get your ring light from? I got it for Christmas. My dad got it for me. And the brand is it's like newer. I don't know. It's N-E-E-W-E-R. That's the brand. I don't know where he got it from though, but I know that's the brand that I have. Where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? Okay, in 10 years, it'll be 2030. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, um, I'll be a nurse. Hopefully, by then, I will have started my family. Because I'll be 29 in 10 years. So, yeah. Hopefully, by then, I have kids. I have a family. Um, I know I won't be in Alabama. That is my first goal, to move out of Alabama. Even if I'm just moved to Georgia, like... I just got to get out of Alabama. But, I actually, Huntsville is a nice place. And that's in Alabama. But, I really, I really want to get out of Alabama. So, yeah, I just see myself being a nurse, married with kids, living somewhere other than Alabama. And if it is Alabama, Huntsville, I'm going to have an Audi and a Jaguar. I really want those two cars. And I'm going to have them. Like, I'm going to get them, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm going to get them. Other than that, I don't know. Two years is a long time. Like, it really is. Okay. What happened between you and James? They ended pretty fast. Are you upset about it? Okay. I already told y'all what happened. And I'm not upset at all because we weren't talking. Well, we weren't together for that long. So, it's like, I wasn't that deep into it. So, I, I'm not, I'm not upset. Stop acting like you're somebody you're not because it's not cute, sis. Okay. Um, I don't really know how to respond to this because I'm me. Like, who just finna, who just finna 
fake they lifestyle. Like, what? I don't even... <sighs> okay, moving on. How the ex-wife you just move on like nothing happened because I'm stuck slash in love with somebody that don't want me anymore? Okay. So. It's kind of like... I don't even know how to explain this, but... If you messed up, then you just gonna have to take your L. If you messed up and they don't want you no more, you just gonna have to take your L. But if you didn't mess up and they don't want you anymore, you should just realize, like, you didn't do anything to this person. But for some reason, they just don't want you anymore. So they obviously don't deserve you. Because if you didn't do anything, why do they, like, why are they feeling that way? So, like, they don't deserve you. Like, if, if they did you wrong and, like, no, I'm gonna talk about that later. I'm gonna talk about that later. But y'all, like... I'm not explaining, but if you mess up, you just gonna, you're going to have to take that L. Because, I mean, hey, but if you did mess up, then, I mean, you just need to know that you don't deserve that. Like, I be trying to get people to, like, you just got to know your worth. Because, like, once you know your worth, bro, you just, you really not going to care. You just going to be moving on, doing it. Like me, like, I know my worth now, and I'm not going to play with y'all. But I don't know how to explain it. It's another question on here, though, and I'm going to, like, go, go, like, deeper into, like, more in depth. Tell them about Lacey from Lacey. Lacey is my cousin. We click just like that. Um, I don't know what else to say for real. That's my stuff. I love my stuff. Me, her, and Jada, we just all be hanging, chilling, vibing. Like, we some really cool people for real. Like, we're going to start making some YouTube videos. But that's my stuff for real. I love my stuff. We be weak. Like, that is my stuff. And then she's my cousin, too. So, it's like, we just, like, super close. Like, super close. Okay. How much YouTube pay? I don't even know because they're not even paying me yet. I, mm -mm. And I don't really, like, do research on it and really keep up with it because I didn't start YouTube to get paid. I started YouTube because, like, of De'Aaron King. Like, I love him so much. And I was like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to record videos, da 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 Because I see how they make memories. And now I make memories. And I just be looking back on it like, wow. I actually love the fact that I do YouTube. Like, because just going back, watching my videos, and just seeing how I've grown as a person, I just love it, like... I don't know, I just love it. How you move on in 0.5 seconds? Okay. <clears throat> this is how. Okay, so when me and Jordan broke up, okay, that's, that's really the relationship everybody's talking about. Because they're like, how did you do it? It was like a year, almost a year and a half. Okay, so. I just felt like I was not being treated as I should have been treated. And so, I was like... No, like, if a person truly loves you, you just got to take a step back. And you just got to be like, well, I do this to them. And if you wouldn't do that to that person, but they doing it to you, they obviously do not feel the same way. So it's like, why continue to be sad over something that's not even really worth it? Like, I really don't even know how to explain it. Like, you just got to know your worth. Because I knew I was worth more than the way I was being treated. And so it's, and don't get me wrong, like, he was, you know, he was treating me good, but towards the end, it's like, dang, we've been together a whole year, and it's like that, like, this is how you treating me. So I was just like, forget it, like, who finna put, who finna put up with that? No. And it's just like, you just gotta take a step back, like, for real. And, like, after we had broke up, like, I was just to myself, I wasn't talking to nobody, for real, for real, whatever. I was just, like, chilling, watching Netflix all the time. Like, you just gotta learn, I don't wanna say learn to love yourself, you just gotta learn to love, like, being alone like love being by yourself because once you get used to that you're not gonna care about oh he's not texting me oh he's not doing that or oh she's not doing this oh she's like you're not gonna care because you're just so used to like being a loner you feel me like you're just gonna love your own company and it's just like you just gotta realize your worth like once you do that then moving on is gonna be like the easiest thing ever and like don't get me wrong when we first broke up like, when I thought we were done, I was, like, super sad, super sad. When we actually broke up, like, for real, for real, like, it was actually done, I just wasn't, like, I, I actually felt like, yo, I'm gonna be sad, like, I don't, I'm not gonna want him to talk to nobody else, da 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 But it's, like, once we broke up, I, I, I didn't feel none of that. I just didn't care. Like, of course, I wish him the best, but it's, like, like, life is too short, bro. Life is too short to waste your time being sad and just sulking over one individual. I'm telling you. It's a bunch of more people out here that you can talk to. Like, I'm telling you, it's some cool people in this world. And so, you just, like, life is too short. Like, if a person don't want you, they just don't want you. Like, 
I don't know. And then I'm different because I feel like I have tough skin and I handle stuff a lot better. And that's why I got this tattoo that says warrior because I feel like I'm a very strong individual, honestly. Like, that's that's just how I feel. And so it's like maybe I'm just different from others. Like, maybe people are just more emotional than me. And don't get me wrong. I'm emotional. Like, I'm a crybaby. Like, ask anybody. I'm, like, I'm a crybaby. I'm emotional. But when it comes to certain stuff, it's just like, mm -mm, I'm not even finna, like, why be sad over this? I hope they helped y'all. I don't know. I hope it helped y'all, though. You just gotta know your worth, bro. Like, once you do that, moving on is gonna be so easy. Like, I'm telling y'all. Because, like, I deserve, I deserve somebody, like, because, like, me, I feel like I deserve somebody like Barack Obama. So, if you ain't stepping up, then, bye. Deuces. Like, what? Okay. Um, advice for senior year. I said that in my last yellow thing. Like, just have fun. Oh, my hair was a mess. Just have fun. Try to stay out of drama. Try to bond with your classmates because, like, I know y'all be in y'all little cliques or whatever, but try to bond with your classmates. You know, go do stuff. Go to basketball games. Go to football games. Do all the little homecoming activities. Because it's your last year and you don't get it back. And most of all, have fun. Like, that's what I be telling everybody that's going to be a senior. Like, most of all, have fun. First love story time. I feel like I should do that in a separate video. Because I don't want this to be so long. I'm going to do that in a separate video. Separate video. And I'm going to post that tonight, too. Yeah. How is your face so pretty? That was so sweet. I don't know. Are y'all saying, like, I don't know if this question is saying, like, my skin face or just, like, my face as a whole. But I don't know. Thank you. A lot of people be telling me I look like my dad. So I be like, dang, I look like a man. I don't know. But y'all be, y'all y'all be making me feel real good about myself, for real. What hair products do you use for your hair? I use Cream of Nature and I use Tresemme. Yeah. But most, most of the time I use Cream of Nature. But I used Tresemme the last time I did my hair. Because I just wanted to be, like, super, super flat. And it be getting it there. Like, it be, it be doing it. Okay, are you anorexic? I honestly don't even know. I think I am. Well, no, nah, I don't think I am. Because I used to weigh more than what I weigh now. But I just went through a whole bunch of stuff. Your girl was stressed out and I lost the weight. But I'm gonna gain it back. Just give me a couple minutes. Okay. <sighs> okay, so it was a bunch of these, like, a bunch of little hate comments or whatever sent my yellow. So I'm gonna read them all out and then I'm gonna address them. Okay. You're really ugly as if and I don't get the height. Um... You look like some type of book about ugly as if. I have siblings, but way better than you. You the ugliest one for real. I think that was it. Okay, yeah. That was it on the little hate stuff. Oh, though. But, yeah. Okay. I really don't even really be caring when people call me ugly because I know I'm not ugly. Like, y'all don't know the definition of ugly. Ugly is like, like a monster or something. Like, I honestly don't feel like any individual, like any human being is ugly. Like, little baby, he ugly. But, like... I'm not explaining. Y'all don't know the definition of ugly. And, like, the reason why little baby ugly to me, like, he was decent at first, but then he started doing Jada wrong. So, I'm like, uh-uh, this nigga ugly, period. No, like, I feel like ugly is just, like, your personality ugly. Like, it ain't really even, like, your features when it comes to, like, me saying ugly. Like, I hate calling people ugly unless I'm like, oh, her outfit ugly. But, like, a person, like, their face, like, their makeup, I don't like calling people, like, ugly. Like, their, you know, their features or whatever. Because it's like, people can't help that. And so, I don't know, but it don't phase me when people call me. My bad, I'm supposed to have called me. But yeah, I don't really, it don't really phase me when people say I'm ugly. Because I feel like the only person I need to be pretty to is like my husband in the future or whatever. Like as long as, long as the person, I was going to say as long as the person that I care about, but I, I care about a lot of people. Like I care about my sister, but I don't care if she called me ugly. As long as, as long as my husband feel like I'm the prettiest thing walking this earth. And I, I don't really care what anybody else got to say. So it's like, I don't care about y'all opinions. Like, I don't have to be pretty, y'all. Because what are y'all, like, what are y'all doing for me? Nothing. Okay. How you gonna pop out and stop talking the next day? You realize you look about dumb as if. Okay, we did not stop talking the next day. We started talking, like, with, like, three days later. <laughs> but I do not look dumb. I was gonna be looking dumb if I would've stayed with him. Okay? So, baby, you look dumb. Worrying about a relationship that ain't got nothing to do with you. So, yeah. What happened to your little boo that quick? I answered that one. You always been pretty to me. Trey. Thank you, Trey. Trey is so sweet, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, he's the sweetest person ever. Everybody that's talking S word anonymously, you need to have the same energy to slide up and say it. Exactly. But they will never do it. And I bet they're watching this video right now. You know you weird, right? If you don't like me, if you think I'm ugly, you know this is weird, right? Watching. You know that you know that, right? But yeah. Um I don't even know if I read that one out, but the one when it was like, I never thought you were pretty. I didn't understand why everybody hyped your head up because you honestly look terrible. I don't think I did. I probably did, though. 
But come on, man. Terrible. Terrible. I don't know. I don't look terrible. Like, what? Okay. Girl, you are the kindest, most genuine, and most beautiful girl inside out. You always speak to me when you see me, even though we were never close. Keep that big heart. That meant so much to me, y'all. And I don't know who that was, but that just goes to show that, like, I'm a really sweet person. Like, I don't be with all the little mean, like, all the little mean girls or whatever. Like, I'm truly a sweet person. Like, I'm funny, chill, all that. Once you get to know me, you most definitely love me. But I didn't know who that was, but that made my day. Because, like, people be noticing, like, oh, she's sweet, you know, stuff like that. I wish I would learn to love y'all selves because the amount of hate y'all putting on her yellow is disgusting. Y'all bank account showing broke, ugly, a right kids. Exactly. Like, and like my cousin Lacey had texted me and another girl Bree had texted me and it was like, I don't need to be responding to them and stuff. But it's like, you know, haters are my motivators. Like, this is what I told my cousin Lacey. Like, you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. That's why I posted on my Snapchat because, baby, if you're doing something right, you can always have haters. I don't want to ask anything. I just want to say that you're very gorgeous to me and I love your personality. Thank you so very much. Y'all are like, some of y'all sweet for real. Some of y'all mean. Like, I had posted on my Snapchat. I was like, if I was a weak female, like, if everything got to me, I would be crying. The stuff y'all seen into this YOLO. But, stuff like that don't really faze me. Like, if it did, I wouldn't be on here, like, reading it out. Like, yeah, y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I don't know you, but I honestly never thought you were ugly. And it's really funny as of how people keep saying that you are. But ask them to send a pic of themselves so we can see what they look like. I don't know you, and it's making me mad. Exactly. Like, it's crazy. And I feel like... It's like the same person or maybe the same two people because they kept coming back to back. So I was like, hmm, who hates me? <laughs> I don't know them. I don't know. Yeah, I really be sleeping on her like, nah, you cute for real. Y'all just be hating. Thank you also. And then it's like people get mad when I post a picture saying I'm pretty or something. But dang, y'all didn't call me ugly all day. And it's a problem because I posted a picture saying I'm pretty. They, then they be sliding up on my yellow dance and I'm like, oh, you cocky, you this, you that. Just because you're confident does not mean you're cocky. So, yeah. But that is the end of this video, and I'm about to do another one, a little first love story time. But I hope y'all enjoyed. I enjoyed this again. Um, I think it's gonna be like a like a thing I'm gonna do very often, just so my haters can keep up with me. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> that's it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh,